Hello and welcome to our podcast. I am Risa. And I am Ariana. And we're the Curlmeister Sisters. I almost introduced myself as Ariana, by the way. I thought you were going to, <laughs> and so that's really funny. <laughs> I was just like, uh, what's my name again? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> as a reminder, our podcast is rated T for Teen for m- strong language and mature themes. Yeah, if you don't want none of that stuff, then go on over to Her Interactive's very own podcast, Unlocked, or some of the other ones that are family friendly that we have mentioned in In the past. You know, yeah. You you gotta go listen to it. Oh, wait, I guess you kind of can't go listen to our other ones if you want to. It's always in the first few minutes. It's fine. It's fine. 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 (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay. So, what are we talking about today, sister? Today, we're going to A some cues. We're going to A some cues, dudes. My (laughs) dudes. So, a few weeks ago, we put up a ask us questions and we'll answer them post. And we got three whole questions. (laughs) Um, And then I continued saying, ask us questions. And we continued to just have those three questions. And then today, I figured out that I had a non-off. So you couldn't ask anonymous questions. And the minute, like within <laughs> five minutes of turning it on back on, we got two whole more questions. Hallelujah. Five whole questions. However, to be fair, some of these questions are very in-depth. Yes. So. Multi-questions. Well, let's start with our anonymous friends from today. <clears throat> Your okay. fave character. That's question number one. Let's pick a character each, because I don't know if we can agree on a favorite character. No, 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 of course. It would definitely have to be one for each of us. Um, I don't know. It's very hard for me. What's yours, sister? I, you know, I kind of, like, first thing that came to my mind was Jamila. Yeah. Honestly. She's great. You you know, favorite character. (laughs) I immediately thought Jamila. I'm not sure if she's my favorite character, like favorite favorite character, but mm-hmm. she at least she's a really good and really awesome character. And I like that like, you didn't get her as a there's nothing, friend. There's nothing really to dislike about Jamila. She's fantastic. Pretty much. I guess basically just forever. I guess that um, Patrick just stays at the very tippy top for me. Yeah, Patrick. Like he's just. He is a, 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 just a, a sweet little dum dum, and I love him. And <laughs> he's a sweet gorilla man. It's true. <laughs> I mean, if you had asked me before Toon came out, mm-hmm. however, I probably would have said um, um, the one of the Hardy Boys. Honestly, yeah. Because other than that, I don't really see many of the suspects being very interesting. <laughs> Honestly, a- one of my other favorites is always going to be Harper Thornton. Yeah, but that's also, just I just love Harper. Hilda Swinton. Yeah, yeah. We got a lot of favorites. Got a Basically, lot of favorites. <laughs> they're the ones that actually stand out are just ones that were like, ah, yes, I love that character. Oh yeah, no, I love that character. <laughs> But I think I'm going to stay with saying Jamila as mine. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with Patrick. Because it's honestly always kind of a close call between Jamila and Patrick for me. Yes. Okay. If I can get them both in the same scene and just kind of have Jamila, Jamila just kind of looking at, at Patrick like, what what are you? I, I'm huh? fascinated by this. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So, another anonymous question. What are each of your favorite games? Oh, boy. Oh, man. You just open up a whole can of worms. I don't know. Honestly? I um, don't think that I could, you know, have just one favorite game. Let's think. At this point in time. Think about it. Um, if... Oh God. I would have to solve this with brackets. I would have to like exactly what I was just thinking. That my favorite of the old games. Let's start with Mm -hmm. there. Favorite of like the classic old games. I would have to say is um, Shadow Ranch. Yeah. Um, My favorite of like those middle games that happened a while ago. I think would actually have to be um, 
Warnings at Waverly Academy. No, no, Shadow at Water's Edge. Okay, see, that's what I expected you to say. I was like, I mean, I I, I was I was trying to decide which would count, which it would count yeah. as. And then if I'm talking about the latest games, I will have to say Ghost of Thornton Hall. Yeah. My, yeah, I, um, mine would be most of the same, except I think one of my favorites would have to be um, Message in a Haunted Mansion. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I think it's just it's 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 a nice atmospheric one, and I yeah. do love. I love. I love the layout of the building and everything like that. And despite my um, like <laughs> my post traumatic stress from having it break <laughs> and just the <laughs> the piano and when the CD melted in my heart. <laughs> Did you hear CD horrible. drive? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <clears throat> but um yeah but th- th- definitely i do love uh secret shadow ranch that's a really really good one yeah. that's always up there for me and 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 obviously uh shadow at water's edge because i play that one over and <laughs> over and Pretty over much. again <laughs> and always goes to thornton hall yes that's just that's that's the modern favoritist one. Yeah, definitely. See, I have a hard time when it comes to like the middle games, the games that all happened, mm-hmm. like I don't know, basically anything from like Blue Moon Canyon to um I don't know. Honestly, I'd say like um Tomb of the Lost Queen mm-hmm. kind of is on the other side of that <laughs> bracket. Mm-hmm. Um, I just can't think of the one that comes before that for the life of me right now. I cannot remember right now. Um, in those, there are so many good ones that I have trouble picking because it's like Crystal Skull or Shadow at Water's oh, Edge yeah. or, you know, or Warning hey, to Waverly Academy. Or reminding me of Crystal Skull. I love Crystal uh, Skull. See? Okay. And on, you're tearing us apart. You're tearing us apart. Um, so if I was going to have to so out of my three, Shadow Ranch, Shadow at Water's Edge, and Ghost of Thornton Hall, if I had to Basically, pick... Basically, you really like Shadows a lot. Yep. If I had to pick between those three games, you put a gun to my head and said, what's your favorite Nancy <laughs> Drew game? Jesus. <laughs> Sounds a lot like Mama's drug talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> if someone put a gun against your head and told you you had to do a drug, pick marijuana. <laughs> Literally what our mom said to us, just putting that Probably out there. Probably should not have been saying it to a seven and nine year old, but you know. You know what? But um, if if that kind of situation were to arise, I think I'd have to say um, Shadow Ranch. Oh good, I'm glad you're going back to the video games and not the drugs. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, I'm good. So Shadow Ranch, what's your final answer? Yes, yeah, so what's your final answer? My final answer is that I like too many of them. And they're all my favorite for different reasons. That's very true. It's difficult. Just as my it's... least favorite ones are all my least favorites for different reasons. No, least favorite game? That's e- way, way easier for me to pick. Mm. It's way what easier is... for me to pick. What is it? That's Ransom and Seven Chips. See, now that's definitely on my list. Obviously, it's it's very much towards the top. But then I really don't like uh, Secret of the Old Clock. And, you know, they're just... <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, I just, just like, in that moment, I'm saying, oh, I'm so sure. You know what? No. It's Trail of the Twister. Because that is the that worst be game. The one. That is literally the worst game. That is the most non-game of it all is, games. It is, like, the biggest, like joke to me that we not put together only such like yeah. a pretty list or i'm sorry a pretty set and and such a pretty they, they had some some cool stuff that you could do and then they just it was like it was such a cool premise and then not only did it just fail to have any plot mm-hmm. it also then they gave away the ending on the freaking <laughs> Amateur sleuth Before blog. even releasing Before the game. Before the game even came out. I was so angry. So mad. And that's when I stopped reading the amateur sleuth yeah. blog. So I was like, Mm-mm. Like, I think that they realized what they'd done and they haven't done it since. But at the same time, it's like, no. 
I don't trust By the way, that. I just realized this is what are each of your favorite games? F A V O R I T I E. Favorite. 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 But yes, I think that can answers that question. More or less. <laughs> Emphasis on the more because we went into what we didn't like too. <laughs> so I feel like we're really negative Nellies here. Sometimes I can't help it; it's the depression. Yeah. <laughs> However, okay. Next question. Both we'll high. Uh, the the last three. Well, after we finish these three, we're going to go back and make sure no one sent us anything else mm-hmm. while we weren't looking. Um, the next three are all from, but that's all of my business. On we appreciate you. We appreciate, we appreciate you, you. But that's all of my business because you filled our entire <laughs> our, our, our inbox for us. It was very nice. It was very nice. <laughs> so make a list of the scariest moments in the series and then theorize what Ned was doing at that exact moment. All right. And now I have to tell you, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me <laughs> to make a list. You're not Risa. You can't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, scariest moments in the series. Um, being locked inside a monolith. Jesus. I'm claustrophobic. That's terrifying. Horrible. Um, being, you know, drowning in, uh, yeah. Shadow at Water's Edge. Um, because, yeah. you know, I'm terrified of drowning. Yeah. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm, what else? Oh my gosh. I had, I had a bunch of them while I was... Um, um, uh, the entire ending for um, Danger on Deception Island. Oh God, that's like, terrifying! You know, when, she's, you, when you're freaking sinking oh, no, around on the that. ship, and then there's all the, and then and it's then the you come face with Andy Jason, and it's like that's horrifying on in, in and of itself. You are a terrifying person at all, like completely. <laughs> Um, I wish I had never come out here with you. Um, <laughs> ooh. Ooh. <laughs> bad decisions that were made by Nancy. But yeah, basically, uh, anytime Nancy makes a bad decision, and I just sort of, I, I don't know, I imagine Ned just, he's just, he's just kind of going about his day, and he's just, <laughs> like, okay. Um, okay, when she's drowning in Japan... Right, mm-hmm. he's sleeping. Um, he's sleeping. <laughs> no, because that's like during the nighttime. Because he's at, at. It's true. Um, so it's 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 daytime for him. Um, but yeah, no. Basically, I always imagine poor Ned is just like doing the most mundane of things Probably. because everybody leaves him behind to have adventures. <laughs> because Ned never gets to go on the adventures. No, of course not. Like he. Is a very responsible college person. Yeah, and he looks out for his friends, including like that weird guy from school that nobody really knows. But he's like, you know what? His uncle died. That sucks. Hey, Nancy, go check on him. <laughs> you know, maybe he didn't say to Nancy that this was a close friend. He was just like, hey, can you go check on him? Nancy's like, well, you know, if Ned's asking me to check on someone, right. probably a close friend. I'm just going to assume. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard him mention him, but he's got to be a close friend. And again, I don't listen, I don't listen much to Ned. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't seen Ned in person in I don't know half a year. <laughs> <laughs> it's just basically, I actually, I actually do enjoy thinking about what Ned's doing while Nancy's off doing these things. Um, Reese and I actually started at one point writing oh, yeah, a. Uh, uh, a, a story where it was Bess and Ned having to solve a, a thing back in, uh, in River, River Heights. Heights. Yeah. I tried to say Riverdale like three times. I was like, nope, that's entirely different. Um, but uh, <laughs> so basically, that's sort of what we think of, of, of him doing back home. He's just like, hmm, what can I do to pass the time? Oh, I'll be a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> be a freaking adrenaline junkie like my girlfriend <laughs> uh, pretty much just yeah oh, so Ned, that's what we man. think Ned is doing during the scariest though yes. I don't know I like to think that in some of them 
he just like gets this this feeling, this Nancy sense is tingling. And he goes, someone I know is making a very bad decision right now. <laughs> I think Ned just has that sense in general. It's just like, <laughs> oh no, well, someone is making a bad choice. I mean, he has Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys in his life. Um, right. It's pretty, um, pretty much a given that someone in his life is making a bad decision <laughs> at that very moment. So... Yeah. And then there's even if it's just as mundane as like, oh, oh no. Bess ate too much of the ice cream. (laughs) Just getting a brain freeze. Uh, But yes, I hope that answers your question. But I (laughs) forgot what it was. No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm awake. All right. Okay. Next question. Can you explain the shattered medallion? I wish, buddy. Okay, so, okay, so, (laughs) I'm going to explain Shattered Medallion. (laughs) Because, you know how in every anime, (laughs) there's that episode where all of the characters go to the beach? (laughs) It has nothing to do with the story. It's a weird, like, character development thing. Yes. That's what Shattered Medallion is. (laughs) (laughs) Um, No, yeah, but basically... (laughs) It's, 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 it's a sort of worldish building because we're supposed to be getting a sense that there's something bigger, you know, that yeah. everybody's involved in with the sunny June and all that. Because there's no actual crime or anything going <laughs> no. on. There's no bad guy aside from the bad guy in this. Is, is... The friends we made along the way. <laughs> no, the bad guy in this <laughs> is... Is reality television? Uh, <laughs> absolutely, your reality television. I was gonna say corrupting for Kiri, Neri, Kiri, hmm. Neri, Kiri. God damn it! Why do I always forget her name? Kiri, I think it's for um, Kiri. I think it's Kiri. But uh, it, it you know it, they corrupted her into being this weird, scary thing. That's the bad guy of that one. But no, so like it doesn't have a like story it's it's all about you know building upon things that we already knew we already knew sunny june existed um we didn't know so much about spide uh, <laughs> i'm glad to know more personally i mm, nope spide was the um the character at the beach who has like this this stunning revelation about their family life yeah pretty much <laughs> um yeah, yeah. So no that's a pretty good that. that's a pretty good explanation of what shattered medallion is it and is... then there's sheep because <laughs> it's new zealand what does the sheep what does the sheep have anything to do with it i don't know <laughs> it's new zealand so there's sheep you're so weird i'm not the one who put the sheep in the goddamn game i mean that is true yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay. That was the answer to that question. <laughs> now, That's my answer to that question. <laughs> this this question has many parts. So yes. it's, do you like games that all take place in one day? Like Secrets Can Kill, Secret of the Old Clock, or Alibi and Ashes? She have a set number of days. <laughs> like... Final scene or Shadow Ranch or have no concept of time where people don't question why Nancy is going to bed in the middle of the day or why she's been there for two months, like in <laughs> Deadly Device or Curse of Blackboard Manor. Let's start with that. Um, I like from a gameplay gameplay standpoint, I prefer things that have a set number of days like final scene. Mm-hmm. From my yeah. gameplay standpoint. From the comedy of the situation, <laughs> I much prefer the ones that have no concept of time. Absolutely, man. Um, yeah, no. From Honestly, from a gameplay, if nothing else, um, you don't have to do that thing where you have to wait, like, 12 hours to be oh, able to do God. something again. Uh, you know, like, I don't know, that stupid 
ghost, ghost game, game yeah that you the can ghost only game. do for that one little little block of time so you're doing things time. like you're just going to sleep for you know 23 hours so you can wake back up <laughs> It's like, damn it, I missed it, and now I can't do it, and so now I gotta go back to sleep. Or <laughs> you can just save scum. You know, that's me nowadays. I'm just like, mm mm. I'm gonna save before I do it, and if I don't do it, I'm safe scumming. Because, yeah. like I said, from a comedy standpoint, that yeah, is a- hilarious. <laughs> I think it is hilarious that Nancy is waking up for an hour a day. Yeah. When Nancy uh- is waking up, getting. Um, getting Hotchkiss some some hot wings <laughs> and then going back to sleep until she right. can break into Hotchkiss's room. You know, <laughs> basically. I mean, um, yeah. If, if if any of you haven't seen our um our, our video <laughs> that we made, where it was Nancy's weird things. Um, that was one of the things. <laughs> <laughs> was like, Nancy, are you okay? You slept for like 18 hours straight. So we do enjoy that that fact. We do. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll take place in one day. So those I always feel like I don't know. Not a huge kind fan of, of them. I, I, I kinda like them. I like they're more streamlined, honestly. I mean it feels yeah. way more it just also feels like what you do doesn't matter as much to me. Like, Whoa. I prefer games that have, like, a story progression. Like, mm-hmm. like final scene and stuff. The final scene also gives you that whole, it's a deadline kind of thing. But yeah. I'm okay with that. Um, I like deadlines. They keep me, they keep me motivated. Jesus. <laughs> You need structure badly, don't you? Yes. <laughs> but um, the ones that take place in one day, I'm like, you know, I could just stay out here catching fish all day and it wouldn't matter. I'm going to beat this guy so he gives me whatever it is he's going to give me. Do, do we really do Secrets Can Kill all in one day? I have not played that one in so long. I don't remember. I don't think I've played at it all. since we played the remaster for... Mm-hmm. We did that. We live blogged the remastered, right? I believe so. I think so. Um, I think that's the last time I played it. But I do love it in Alibi and Ashes because it makes it feel more. I don't know. I don't know. But that helps because then we're also going between characters. Yeah. The last part of that question is do you think any of them mess up the plot structure? Yes. I think the ones that have no concept of time make the plot <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. They, uh. uh they, like, they, yeah. It's like, how long has Nancy Drew been there? If we actually, honestly, I bet you if we actually counted up how many times we have her go to sleep in some of them, it would, it would add up yeah. to her being there for months. And it's like, this is not how long this should take place. It should not take this long like, for you to figure out that it was freaking, um, Jeff Bridges for <laughs> You should have walked in there, looked at him in that video chat and went, No, no, no. I figured it's it out. Him. It's his guy. <laughs> My thing is Ghost Dogs of Noon Lake is what make that's what I'm thinking of right now. Is I'm like, oh God, because you have to go back and forth between nighttime and daytime constantly yeah. to be able to talk to the right people at the right time. Yeah. It's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yes. So I think So that- in answer. Yes, some of them really do mess with the plot structure, in our opinions. I'm checking everything now, just to make sure no one else asked us any more questions. I'm sure they didn't. Well, I'm checking. Okay, Jesus. Okay, You need some structure in your life. Calm down. I do. Okay, so no one asked us any more questions. Thank you to the three people who did ask us questions. We We appreciate you. Or possibly just two people. I don't know. The Anon could be the same person. The Anon could be the same person. That's the whole point of Anon. You don't know. I'm going to give everyone the benefit of the doubt and say three people asked us questions. So. (laughs) Sounds good. So, yeah. If you have any more questions, leave us um, some comments and stuff, and we'll answer them. Not in vocal form, though. So you missed out on that. I mean, I'd like to. I'd like to at some point. We'd like to do another one of these at some point. But um, but still, you missed out. You missed yeah. out, Thomas. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think that about wraps it up. I'm Risa. 
I'm Ariana. And we're the Curlmeister Sisters, and we are asking you guys to stay smoothie. Or something like that. <laughs>